people, wherever you are, in the bathroom, I know. Um, we're here at Guitar Summit day three and now with a Großmann. Yes. You're not that tall. <laughs> But it's my name, excuse me. <laughs> well, you are excused. Now, um, I've been called over here because they're like, hey, we do uh, isocaps. And I'm like, I like isocaps. And it's a topic, and uh, if I've already shot something with Box of Doom here, so if we're talking about Box of Doom, then we should talk with the not really competition, because looking at what you have is not direct competition to what they do. Yes, because it's more for home studio, yes. for smaller studios. The Box also, of Doom is, is a roadworthy yes. thing to take on tour, whereas yes. this is actually a pretty thing that I can have next to my desk yes. at home without corners and without this doesn't look like something i want to take on the road yes but you can even take it on road with the road case okay and this whole no. thing goes in there yeah it goes okay. in there and then we have about 40 db of sound uh, damping mm -hmm. this one makes 30 db what's, what's heavy damping and the, the main uh, incision was to, to do it for home studios or for, for little studios even for studios who want to make Band recording, you get uh, separate signals. You don't have uh, uh, the, the, the bleed. The bleed. So what you're saying is, do this in a practice room setting. Yes. In the pro room. Yeah. And then you have, you know, either guitar players actually coming through the PA or in ears have very good separation. Put one on the right, one on the left. They can actually hear what they're doing. Now looking at this, I warned him. I've built ISO caps. I got. If you know, and there's videos about it, I've got seven in the basement. Mine are about big refrigerators. Mm -hmm. I have one for three cabs, and I okay, actually put okay. cabs inside. Inside of the, the, the yeah, big one thing. is like three meters long, uh -huh. and I've got another one that's 250 for okay. two cabs. I've got one for one 112, and I have one for XL 412s, that's, which is literally yeah. this tall. Okay. And for me, unfortunately, I couldn't. I couldn't ship such a big thing. <laughs> And the thing, thing is, it's not necessary. I, mine are designed for. We were getting the okay to be loud. Yeah. <laughs> mine is designed for taking an actual cap that exists and putting it in a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the cap and the box and everything in one. Yes. Now, without you telling me stuff, let me look at things and let me guess, okay? Yeah, okay. okay try so, Chella come over here. Try it out. Chella can power behind the camera, by the way, and it's his birthday. So, I can see that there are mounting parts for these angles for microphones so you can yes. literally have several mics yes. maybe three of them is a little bit overkill and I can see that the speaker doesn't actually have to be screwed in yes it actually gets held by this and I can very easily remove the speaker and just have another one yes so let's do you this can even put in wait, wait, wait. speaker here we go now of course the whole mic positioning is off and now I can I could take this out unclip it And this, there are checks. And we can see there's a little bit of uh, high frequency dampening, yes. not more than that, because the, all that foam stuff doesn't actually make it quiet. No. That's what you people think, but it, foam and egg cartons don't help to make it quiet. Therefore, diffusion and high yes. frequency dampening. Yes. The exactly. only way you can get something to be actually quiet is to throw weight at it. Yes. Shit has to be heavy so that sound doesn't move it. That's physics, there's no way yes, around. Yes. That's the reason. Which is why my isocaps are actually made out of um, uh, kitchen countertops. Mm -hmm. What's okay. Okay. The thick ones. Okay. <laughs> All that screwed together, then on the lids you mm -hmm. have these... Uh, foam? Uh, foam, or like I have window sealer. Ah, okay. And inside I have heavy uh, Aurelex foam, but that's mm -hmm. just for the inside sound. Yeah. Um, But this is much, much more um, portable. It is much more compact, and it's much prettier than the shit I built. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess this is very clearly something I would put in the living room. What, what's interesting, what you have to know is that I built in a resonance absorber to to get a, a clean, open sound and not a boxy sound. There are parallel walls, and it's a cube. And normally, without uh, Acoustic action, it would it would sound like this, a mm -hmm. bit like boxy. And I built in with a plate absorber to get a, a clean and, and a sound. There's no difference if you put on the hood or you leave it. Okay. 
So the hood doesn't affect the sound in yes. any way. Yes. Oh, it's very, Let me try that heavy. again. I said weight is what you need. <laughs> I'm not playing. Wait. What the? <laughs> what the fuck is in here? I'm really curious now. Is that just the wood? Holy! It's just the wood. Yes. Holy shit! Fuck balls. <laughs> Either I need to really work out, or this is heavy as shit. So I can see right here. You have hinges on it. Is that only standard? For, only for the show. Only yeah. for the show. Okay. So I can lift on the hood, and you can hear what, what it's damn. You can hear. At that volume, it's pretty much completely gone. But usually. It's about that, 30 dB. What I like is. I'm intrigued now because on mine and the Box of Doom, the low frequency still comes out quite a bit. Yeah. So it's still very rumbly. Yeah. All that I can hear is a very focused mid frequency, which is in no way going to be heard by your neighbors. Yes, yes. So mine is still, I mean, it's quieter, but it's quieter across the whole spectrum. So it's still low frequency. Okay. And same on the Box of Doom, which I think is a great product. But here, open it again. Yeah. So right now I'm hearing a very mid-focused, yep. tiny, there is sound. How is that possible? How do you kill all the lows? Um, one of the things is that I have rubber feet, mm -hmm. parabolic rubber feet, with, uh, like spikes and hyphy hy cabinets. And it's a thick material. It's 23 millimeters of MDF, medium density fiber. And that is the reason for the, for the That is production. ridiculously good. Okay, so turn that off, because that's still annoying. Um, come closer, Dave. I'm just worried about the mic here. Thank you, Dave. Um, so, you had me at that. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Three mics is overkill, but you can. Yeah, so, you uh, how many of these rails are included in like a basic? The basic, uh, basic is two XLRs and two mic stands. And of course, the XLR is on the outside somewhere. Yes. Oh, right here. And of course, speaker input, obviously. Yes. Um, so, how much do I have to pay for this? For this one, you have to pay in Germany with that 680 euros. Wait a second. <laughs> how much do I have to pay for this? 680 euros. Think about it again, wait a second. <laughs> so, so in Germany, how much do you have to pay for this? 680 euros. Do you I, think it's much too high? I no, see no, 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 I really don't. Yeah. I think you're fucking off your rocker <laughs> for selling this. It, does it include a speaker? No, it's without speaker. Okay, okay. So you're heavy again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but the speaker is like 100, 100, 100 bucks, depending yeah. on what it is. Any normal cab, any good, yeah. high quality 112 cab, We'll run you 500 yes. to 700. I have a 212 Friedman, which is 900. Yes, of course. I mean, this, what you're telling me is this is the price of a normal cab. Yes, for an isolation cabinet. Hmm? <laughs> ha, what? You're nuts. Because any competitive product is priced extremely higher yep. and I'm gonna say this being very fl flawed right now, doesn't do as good of a job yeah. as this does. Okay. Okay, great. Don't you want to make money? I make money because I'm, I sell only directly. There's That's no distributor, how. there are no shops, and so it's possible to make this price. But here's the thing, I'm gonna go into my business talk right now. Yeah. What if you're successful? Yes. I'm what, the, the, Mr. Grossmann, <laughs> what if this actually takes off and people want it? Because, have, because then, I let have, me tell you, then you need a distributor, yes, yes. and then you need a shop, and all of a sudden, your success came from an amazing product at 6.99, yeah. and you can't hold the price. Yeah, this, I have to overthink if, if it's going 
in this way? I've been there with China companies that, okay. I've, that I've represented and none of them could find a distributor because they've introduced their product too cheap on the market uh -huh. and no one would touch them because they said there's no margin. You can't go and tell people, you've never heard the price, okay? <laughs> you can't tell people the $699 uh -huh. and then all of a sudden, it, this has to be $1,400 yeah, la yeah. later. Okay. Okay. With, with the distributor, Yes. And let's say shipping to the US. Yes. And a shop, everyone wants to make money. This is 12 to 1400. So if everyone knows Grossmann at 699, no no shop's going to touch you. Yes. So that, think about that. That may, may happen. So for now, <laughs> for now, you can benefit of this guy's yes. cuckooness. Order directly. And order directly at a ridiculously low price. 699. For this kind of quality, this this one I have to say the the, the oak one is 990. <laughs> yeah, who gives a shit? It's still dirt cheap. Yes. Okay. Your cuckoo. Some some more people should tell you that. Please tell him he's cuckoo. <laughs> 699 Grossmann isolation cabinets. Get one while he's still crazy because that's ridiculous. It works. It looks really cool, and um, it's way too cheap. <laughs> Animals at the end. <laughs>